Course 1. Lesson 4. Protecting Money from Malware. The Do's. In the last lesson, you learned the don'ts. Don't follow suspicious links. Don't open attachments. Don't download pirated software from file hosting services and so on. Now let's talk about the do's of keeping your money safe from malware. First off, install a reliable antivirus, if you haven't already, and never disable it. Even if a program asks you to for whatever reason, only then can it scan all running applications and all files that you download and open. Afraid that the antivirus might cause slowdown or show pop-ups at a crucial moment during, say, a game or presentation? Then turn on game mode. Thus, when you work or play in full screen mode, the antivirus will not download updates or display messages. If you like shopping online or use PayPal or other payment systems, Safe Money will come in handy. This technology not only provides additional protection against malware, but checks the reliability of websites that ask for card details. Generally speaking, an antivirus is already something, but it will do no harm to add an extra layer of security. Use a separate card for online payments and keep the amount on it low. In the worst case, that small sum is all you will lose, while the rest of your money will remain intact. Many banks issue virtual cards specifically for online purchases. You can often get them without going to the office in person. You can limit the amount that can be charged to them as well as their validity period. At the same time, money on other accounts and ordinary cards will be completely safe. That said, fraudsters are on the lookout for not only bank card details but other confidential information too. What kind? Stay tuned.